And uh, now we will have uh, two presentations to continue uh, the topic of the um, digital customer journey and customer onboarding for the SME customers. And I would do a very short introduction now on what is the situation on, the, um, on this in the sea region. And then we will have another speaker um, on the topic of digital, uh, digital banking and future of digital banking. So uh, I will uh, present now very shortly so the online banking study that we are doing for the CU region every year. And uh, it covers uh, eight um, countries, uh, which we do in autumn. So this year it was September, October. So these are the banks that uh, we analyzed this year. And we analyzed 90 parameters of the online banking, so which functionalities are available for the business customers uh, here in the, in the region, in the online banking. And uh, here is actually, so, uh, mentioned this already that what are the main targets and what are the benchmarks here in the region. So the target which banks are setting for, for themselves in their strategies or digital uh, strategies is to have a remote end-to-end -end processes for the uh, SME customers. So customer acquisition, um, fully digital lending, uh, customer um, online campaigns and also implementation of uh, value-added services for the SMEs. Uh, the average target in the region for the customer acquisition for the next year is 50%. And uh, yes, we have some benchmarks here. So uh, that um, last year uh, already we had this uh, um, figure that 90% uh, of the um, new customers that were acquired during the lockdown last year, for example, in Angie Bank in Poland, were acquired through the digital channels already. Um, so the main trends are actually uh, the same as we noticed uh, previously last year, so from the start of the lockdowns. This is online customer onboarding, um, customized dashboards, meaning that the customers can personalize and see the online banking the way they want to see, they would like to see, so the products and the services that they use the most. Uh, also, uh, SMEs started to expect uh, from the banks to have uh, similar digital uh, journey and to have the possibility, if they want, to have access uh, to all banking products via online or mobile. Uh, development of the ecosystems, this is trend that is continuously uh, we are discussing and existing in the market. Also integration of value-added services and also accept the e-invoicing, for example, and online accounting and BFM that Claudio uh, presented us in the morning. Also from the previous year, we see an obvious trend of integration of uh, e-shops and also payment gates. Uh, and account aggregation, this is uh, connected to the PSD2 regulation uh, in the European Union. I would like actually now to stress your attention mainly on this map. And uh, um, I don't have the point here, but on your left in the column, uh, you can see, so these are the functions that banks, that more than 70% of the banks, which we consider is almost all of the banks implemented. So these are the standard ones, which we say they are already the standard ones. So the customers can see, uh, can have access to their accounts, they can see balances available, they can see um, uh, transaction history, they can do payments, the local currency in foreign currency, they have payment templates, um, etc. So these are the functions that banks, that almost all the banks have for the business customers. And this is already not what differentiates banks on the market anymore. And when we were analyzing uh, in some banks, still I saw on the website uh, some uh, advantages. So the description of the advantages for the online banking is that the customer will have access to the uh, current account from everywhere. Yes, but the customer has it, can have it in each and every bank. And this is not an advantage anymore, at least for a past last several years. So what do differentiate uh, uh, banks uh, on the market is 
um, the following. So uh, the next column, uh, if we go to the right, is we call it advantages. So meaning that around 50% of the banks in the region implemented this. And these are, first, uh, first of all, this is foreign currency exchange module, so that the, current, that the customer can also uh, exchange uh, the currency, exchange on their exchange rate that he would like to pick up, for example, or to beat already, etc. So this we have actually that uh, as of this year, 60% of the banks have it in the online banking. So I would stress that this is online banking here because for my mobile banking, for the business customers, this is still less developed and almost banks and probably the customers as well are more focusing on the online banking solutions. So for the foreign exchange model, we do see some uh, change this year compared to the previous one. This was like 5% change uh, versus uh, last year and around 60% of the banks have it already. Also, this is opening a business account, current account in the foreign currency. So if the customer has already current account in the local currency, so they can do it already online uh, uh, in, the, in the online banking. So around 50% of the banks. And also uh, online applications for additional uh, uh, services like cards uh, or uh, POS and also maybe um, um, signing agreements for the POS. Uh, the next column is, we call it beginning of the implementation, meaning that 30 or less percent of the banks implemented this in the region. And here we have the uh, online customer onboarding, meaning that the customer can open the very first uh, business account with the bank uh, purely online. We discussed it uh, actually in the, in, in, during the previous panel. Also, this is online applications, so the possibility, this is around 20%. Uh, so that the customer can uh, um, initiate the online application in the online banking channel uh, and uh, also uh, signing loan agreements or other agreements, maybe or other uh, applications also digitally in the online banking. This is around uh, 30 and less uh, uh, percent. Also integrated invoicing uh, is here, so these uh, uh, additional services uh, that SMEs, I would say, are already expecting from the banks uh, to have invoicing, to have uh, online accounting, uh, to have uh, uh, um, e-commerce platforms. Also, this year's trend is was that open APIs that banks started to uh, to SMEs to um, offer open API uh, services, and we call it the experiments. And this is around 10% of the market. So the really few uh, banks uh, here in the region implemented, and this is more or less concentrated in two, three countries as we discussed. So this is, for example, for a full um, uh, lending process, meaning that the customer can start the process full, fully online and also uh, end it, meaning uh, sign a loan agreement and also um, disburse and receive, uh, get the money fully online and that the process is automated, that the customer can really have this um, quick uh, decision. Uh, so this is, uh, these uh, are the services that actually differentiate banks on the market. And uh, this is personally, I, I can say, I like, give my personal example, because I am being an SME customer here in Poland. Yes, I did choose the bank uh, having invoicing and online accounting, and this was my criteria of choice uh, uh, of the bank, because all other services uh, all the banks have already, and this is a standard one. So, just uh, some uh, examples of the services that differentiate banks on the market. So, first of all, this is a business registration uh, from the bank website. Uh, seven banks, this is a change this year. This number of banks are increasing that from the bank's website, a customer can register business and open automatically business uh, current account. So seven banks in the region offer this, uh, offer this. And these are five from Poland, one from Czech Republic, one from Romania. Uh, also discussed it also already digital identification and biometrical 
customer identification. This is an example from the last year ING. Bank in Poland was the first who launched uh, opening and customer identification during the opening uh, of customer of business account via selfie. And we are saying uh, meaning for the companies, so not for the private entrepreneurs, which was implemented earlier uh, in parallel actually mainly with this, with this service for the private individuals. But this was the very first example uh, um, for the companies. And we actually still, very, still have very few this uh, uh, in the few examples in the CE region. Online customer onboarding, so having the digital uh, customer identity. This is a screenshot from ING. We saw in the previous presentation example from BNP, when in a few minutes customer can uh, open business account online, so apply and then uh, receives the access to the online banking and sign uh, the agreement for the current account directly in digitally in the in the online banking. Uh, another feature, account aggregation, which is uh, relevant to European Union and connected with the PSD2. Seven banks in the C region implemented this for their business customers. For private individuals, of course, this is much more. Um, we have much more examples, but for the business customers, uh, seven, seven banks implemented this functionality that the ba uh, bank customer can, um, from the bank's application, can see also current accounts from the other banks in the country. So this is... Uh, and the last one, the BFM model, this is actually one of my favorite uh, value-added services that bank can, banks can implement for the SMEs, and this is a very great tool for me, how banks should uh, sell and cross-sell banking products for SMEs to be in context, because as, as, as Claudio also showed this uh, in the morning, when you have a cash flow projection of the SME customer, and a SME customer sees it, and for example, I am, for example, being an SME customer, if I know that you know tomorrow, next week, I will not be able to pay to my um, suppliers or to employees for, for, some, for some services because <laughs> my projection, I have a red saldo, then I can use, and then this is a good time for me to um, to offer me, a, please uh, um, take an overdraft or finance your invoices with, with factoring or sell your invoices to get your cash right now to have the possibility to pay. And I think this is the very right moment. And this is that personalization which we were talking about the panel of, about AI and where we can we can use it. That the customer is offered the product in the context of their businesses, so not. Nine in the morning when somebody is calling and offering, do you need an overdraft or factory? No, nine in the morning, I don't need. Nine in the morning, I need coffee. But this is the moment when I see a result, I might need this. And I, I do personally <laughs> like this tool very much and, and uh, hoping that we will see a, a more example uh, next year that banks uh, implemented this uh, for the SMEs.